Hey guys, my name is Ryan and you're watching Snapshot Video. So, last week we had a photo shoot set up and we had a little delay because we got about 10 and a half inches of snow. So, the lady that we were going to actually shoot, that sounds really bad, but the lady we're going to take pictures of, um, she's eight months pregnant and we didn't want her getting out in the snow, so we went ahead and postponed it until the roads and stuff got clear, but we me and my daughter, I should say, went out and actually got a little bit of B-roll of uh, the snow. So why let good snow go to waste? I don't know about you, but 10 inches of snow in Missouri, that's pretty impressive. So when I got back, I had some filming to do for another project, and so I was watching Job on the Crowley Crew um, on his YouTube channel. Check him out if you want to know about an M50. This guy knows a ton of stuff about an M50. I think he's got this camera mastered. But anyways, he came up with a great idea of using your app on your cell phone uh, to see the volume levels on your M50. Now, if you know anything about an M50, you know that you cannot see your audio levels while you're recording, or the volume levels show on the app while you're still recording. So I think it's a pretty good idea, when it works. But we came across an issue with static and stuff like that going on. So I did a bunch of tests. I think it's the Bluetooth talking to the camera, but I wanted to know, was it how close the mic was to the camera? Was it distance? Was it actually the mic itself? Was it testing, testing. Do you, do you hear that? Huh. Let's stop recording and see. But on manual mode, you have the audio again. So I'm trying to see if this mic's picking up some of the weird background Bluetooth and stuff. Okay, I put my mic levels back to manual so I can actually see them right down here on the screen. Right there at the bottom corner of the screen so I can see my mic levels. And it is on the camera. I'm going to go ahead and take it off of the camera one more time. It's still connected with the cord for the Rode, for the uh, Rode mic. So, let's see. Okay, now this is still using the Rode mic cord going to the camera. It's right next to the camera, roughly about a foot away from it. I'm uh, still using that same cord. So I don't know if this is going to cause audio issues or not. I'm also going to try it with a 10 foot cord attached to it and take a little bit further. I'm not going to stop the camera while I do it. We're still connecting. Right now we're using the camera body mic. And road mic should be plugged back in. And now we're about two and a half, three feet away from the camera. Using the road, using the road mic, about two and a half, three feet away from the camera itself with a 10 foot cord on it. So let's see if this makes any difference. Well, as you can tell, I know that was kind of boring, sorry. But the uh, results, well, they're kind of all over the board. We got some good ones with the mic attached to the camera. We got some, a lot of them with the mic attached to the camera, not very good. But we actually added a 10 foot cord and that seemed to help out quite a bit with it attached to the camera. Um, like I said, it's only when you use the app though. If you're vlogging without the app, and you don't have the app going with the microphone, it doesn't seem to be an issue at all. So I was just trying to find out what was going on with the app itself. If you come across this issue, I would definitely like to know. The other thing that we notice is when we move the mic away from the camera, the issue seems to go away. So you could always put the, the mic on a boom or you could put it in a different location to get it off the camera and that seems to solve the problem in most cases. So just something for you to think about. If you guys have experienced the same thing, come across the same kind of stuff, let us know in the comments below. Let us know what you did to fix it. Thanks a lot. You guys have a good day.